What if nearly 9 out of 10 adults carried a hidden risk for heart attack, stroke, or kidney failure without realizing it, and you were one of them? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy-to-listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Today we're unpacking Cardiovascular Kidney Metabolic Syndrome, or CKM, a newly named but long-standing crisis that ties your heart, kidneys, and metabolism together. I'm Ethan Foster, and I'll guide you through what this means for your daily choices and why fixing energy production inside your cells changes everything. I'm Alara Skye, and I'll help translate the latest findings into clear next steps. You'll hear how mainstream groups describe CKM, why some researchers call it a rebrand, and what practical actions help you restore cellular energy so your organs work in sync again. Think of CKM as a loop where weak energy production sets off system-wide strain, high blood pressure taxes your kidneys, struggling kidneys disrupt your metabolic balance, poor metabolic function pushes insulin resistance and fat storage, and the added burden lands right back on your heart. Many people feel fine until the loop breaks with a heart attack or other crisis, but the early signs are familiar. Fatigue, ankle swelling, stubborn weight, elevated blood sugar, and rising blood pressure. Most adults still haven't heard of CKM, even though the risk factors are everywhere. Recent polling showed that only a small fraction of people recognized the term, while nearly 90% already had at least one risk marker. Many also assumed you should manage each problem in isolation, treat blood pressure here, glucose there, when in reality, your circulation, filtration, and metabolism are one system. If your kidneys slip, your heart works harder. If your metabolic control falters, inflammation and oxidative stress accelerate cardiovascular damage. The encouraging part is reversibility. CKM often begins with small, correctable imbalances. Tracking your blood pressure, fasting glucose, body weight, and kidney function gives you an early read on whether your loop is tightening or easing. Health systems are talking about coordinated care, so cardiology, nephrology, and endocrinology align instead of pulling you in different directions. But there's debate. A commentary in a leading journal questioned whether CKM is a breakthrough or a polished label for what we already know. Obesity, diabetes, and heart disease share roots in mitochondrial failure, excess linoleic acid, and chronic stress. The authors warned that unless the framework drives earlier prevention and measurable outcomes, it's just rebranding. The takeaway for you is simple. Names don't fix metabolism. Action does. Large-scale data reinforce how risks multiply. In a cohort of over half a million adults followed for more than a decade, each added CKM condition raised all-cause mortality and shortened lifespan. That pattern matches daily life. Conditions cluster when energy production is low and repair can't keep up. Critics also flagged blind spots, especially the liver's central role. Leaving metabolic liver dysfunction out of the model misses how strongly it governs blood sugar and fat processing, which is why some argue the framework should expand. So where do you start if you want to escape the CKM loop? You go upstream to your mitochondria, the sites where you create usable energy. When these engines sputter, blood pressure drifts higher, kidneys fall behind on filtration, and you store rather than burn fuel. Repairing energy production is the lever that moves all three systems together. First, lower linoleic acid aggressively. Seed oils, soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, canola, Flood your membranes with unstable fats that distort energy metabolism and stoke chronic inflammation. Replace them with stable fats such as tallow, ghee, or grass-fed butter. A concrete target helps. Keep linoleic acid under 5 grams per day and ideally below 2 grams. If you eat out often or rely on packaged snacks, assume you're overexposed until you prove otherwise. Second, feed your mitochondria with real carbohydrates instead of starving them. Your cells run on glucose when they're healthy. Very low-carb routines and fasting-heavy patterns can suppress thyroid function and slow your metabolic rate. Aim for about 250 grams of carbohydrates daily from whole food sources. If your gut is sensitive, start with fruit and white rice, 
both easy to digest, and add starchier foods later as your tolerance improves. Third, restore mineral balance with magnesium. Magnesium stabilizes electrical activity that governs blood sugar, heart rhythm, and vascular tone. Yet deficiency is common. Find your dose by using magnesium citrate until stools loosen, then step back slightly. For ongoing support and better absorption, use magnesium L-threonate, glycinate, and molate. Adequate magnesium protects against calcium overload, reduces oxidative stress, and smooths the energy exchange among your organs. Fourth, align hormones and circadian signals with sunlight and natural progesterone. Sunlight initiates vitamin D and melatonin production inside your mitochondria and anchors your internal clock, improving cellular repair. Progesterone helps counter estrogen-driven water retention and supports thyroid activity. If you're dealing with fatigue or hormonal weight gain, this combination can reestablish balance. Fifth, move, breathe, and sleep with intention. Daily walking, about 60 minutes, is a simple way to improve glucose use, circulation, and kidney filtration. Add resistance training two to three times per week to build muscle, your built-in glucose reservoir. Deep sleep restores ATP production and lowers cortisol, while slow nasal breathing practices raise carbon dioxide, enough to enhance oxygen delivery to tissues, easing nervous system strain. Notice what's not on this list. Chasing acronyms. Whether medicine calls it CKM or something else, your path forward is the same. Remove the fats that poison energy production. Provide steady carbohydrate fuel, replete magnesium, harmonize circadian timing and hormones, and build capacity through movement and rest. As mitochondria recover, blood pressure tends to normalize, kidney filtration steadies, and metabolism reignites. You can monitor progress with simple markers. Watch fasting glucose and blood pressure trend downward. Track ankle swelling and energy levels across the day. Pay attention to how your weight responds when you cut seed oils and reintroduce digestible carbs. The feedback loop becomes visible. More energy, better recovery, fewer swings. Here's your challenge. Over the next two weeks, eliminate seed oils from your kitchen and meals out. Keep linoleic acid below 5 grams daily and reach 60 minutes of walking most days. Pair that with 250 grams of carbohydrates from fruit and white rice and add a well-tolerated magnesium form. Log your morning blood pressure and fasting glucose three times a week to see the shift. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.